What's going on, you guys? AJ Tucker here with AJ Self Defense, and today I want to talk about the best self defense move for domestic abuse. And I get this a lot whenever I uh, teach classes. Uh, people who are in a domestic abuse situation, they're like, "Okay, what moves can I do to get out of this situation?" And even though there are moves to get out of certain situations, I always feel uncomfortable about giving moves for that because. In my opinion, there are no moves to get out of a domestic, a domestic abuse situation. And let me explain myself on that one. Let's say you get put in choke, right? And, you know, you, you learn something. You learn a way to get out of the choke, some move or whatever. It's only going to work once. If that, it may not even work. But after it works once, then what do you do after that? Because you're still in that situation. Um, and, and the thing is, I've learned over the years, you know, you don't tell somebody just to get out, get out of the relationship. Um, that's not the answer. The only thing I can do, the only thing that I will do over these next couple of months, couple of years, as far as videos go, is share is share different stories, different stories of how people escaped an abusive relationship. So for me, when I was six years old, my mother was in an abusive relationship. Uh, she almost died and she probably would have died if she stayed. Luckily, we were able to get out of that situation. She packed up everything. Uh, we packed up everything and we went all the way from Virginia to Texas. And fortunately for us, we had family members where we were able to we were able to stay. She was able to rebuild and we basically hid. At the time, there was no Internet. There was no Facebook or anything like that. So it, w it wasn't as easy to track somebody down. Um, and so the thing is. She had no self-defense moves, you know. The only thing she could rely on was a support system. Now, I don't have any tips, any specific tips that I'm going to give you. Because here's the thing, every situation is different. I'm sitting in my car doing this video. And you might be sitting in your car watching this video, searching and trying to figure out how can you get out of the situation you're in right now. And, and the only thing I can say to you is get the support system. And um, there's stories, there's so many stories, so many women and men, they are sharing their stories on how they escape. There is no cookie cutter approach to getting out of a domestic abuse relationship or an abuse, abusive relationship, a dangerous situation, um, because it's not going to work. It's a day by day thing. Uh, it could be, it could take a long time or you can see the signs early and you can get out of that scenario. Now I did, uh, if you look in the description below. I shared a couple of uh, YouTube videos that I watch, and it's just two stories. Now, one is a podcast of 90 minutes. It is on Kaylee Lynn's channel, a channel called Kaylee Lynn, so big shout out to her. I tagged her, and it uh, she's doing a podcast, and she's interviewing a woman named Heather. And I, I honestly watched a whole 90 minutes because I thought it was going to be a lot shorter. I thought I was going to talk about uh, some situations where, you know, she had to do this, do that. But it was very extensive talking about um, a, a narcissistic behavior and what this guy did to control her, the lies that he told and the control that he had over her. And it was just a crazy story, man. And so um, it's something to check out, man. So if you look at the description below, you click on the link. Another story. Let me let me look up her name real quick. Hold on. Another story is by the Nature D or the Nature Day. Um, I can't pronounce the name um, correctly, but big shout out to her. She got on and she shared her story, and uh, you know she was with her partner. They actually went into business together, and he could he he found a way to take control of fifty percent of her business, and he used other lies and things like that to manipulate her. But she has a play by play on um, her relationship. And she had to attempt eight times to get out of that relationship. Finally, she was able to break away and f actually find a new partner that, you know, treats her right and doesn't abuse her and, and, and none of that. But she shared her story, man. And I think um, looking at these stories is very valuable. It's not it's out of my scope. It's out of my scope of practice to try to show somebody moves if they're in a abusive, abusive relationship. It doesn't it doesn't work like that. Like I said, you can fight back. You can fight back, but you're still there. And so if you feel like you're in danger, if you feel like you're eventually going to die, um, you know, I encourage you to check out these different stories and, and find a way to get help. See what your support system is. And for the for the love of God, for, for heaven's sake, 
please erase your history. You know, uh, you don't want to watch this video and get motivated just to come on and look at these and, and, and have uh, your abusive spouse, him or her, your abusive spouse to check out your search history. You know, just just simple little things like that. Um, but anyway, man, that's all I got for this one. That's uh, like I said, again, check in the description below and I have a, a link to both of these videos and I uh, tag their channels as well. And I'm going to be doing more of these, man. I'm going to be looking up stories. And if I see a story that, that I feel like it has valuable information, I'm going to share it on the channel. All you got to do is click and check it out because I do feel like it is not one way to uh, get out of it. I, I do want to talk to some family lawyers um, to see if they are able, not, not share people, but if they are able to share, if they have more strategies on how to get out or what a, what are a couple of things you can do to start off with to get out of an abusive relationship. But anyway, that's all I got for this one, man. I'm out.